non-workshop project. My home needs a very nice coffee table. We have been wanting a coffee table in our little living room for a long time and every time we go out either the designs are not very good, we don't like those designs or they are really really expensive. So I thought why not in my DIY woodworking workshop I'll go ahead and make ourselves a nice modern and simple coffee table. So let's get this workshop dirty and get to work. As usual work starts with measuring and I did have my design. I did it in Fusion 360 and printed it so I could actually have a reference always with me. So I went ahead cut all the stalks according to my measurements and design. For top and bottom surfaces, I went with a Chinese fir wood, which I got pretty cheap and I thought it would be very, very good. They advised me that it's to use for making floor panels only, but I thought I could actually use it to make tables as well. And I found that those pieces, those wood stocks were actually very, very not straight and I had to do straightening as well. So I cut all the stocks accordingly uh, as per my design and get them ready for the assembly. Alright, all the pieces are ready. I cut using Microsoft planer only to plane all the pieces for joinery as well. Now, it's time to assemble uh, all the pieces together and throughout this project and for each project I do have an aim, I do have an objective targeted towards learning certain skills. So today in this project, while I'm assembling this, I want to learn how to join the stocks using dowels and pocket holes. For which I have got my little tools here, let me show you what tools I'm going to use. Now tools that I'm going to show you are also available on Banggood. First thing first, I love this one. For drilling holes to use dowels and dowels joinery, this thing makes exact center holes. You don't have to worry about where the uh, center of a stock is, you can easily make holes. So first thing you need to do is mark your first hole where you want your first uh, dowel to go and for which you can actually put it on, align it and all you need to do is just clamp. They will hold the piece and that is exact center of your stock right there. This is really very nice. So once you have made the first hole, you need more measurements, do not worry about it. Here, this piece will fix uh, starting from six millimeter and onward holes. So all you need to do is put it in and fix this in the hole, first hole. And after that, lock this piece on your stock and accordingly drill a hole here. After that move, put this piece in and drill a hole here. Basically you do not have to do any more measurements after drilling the first hole and you can do this with all the stocks. So that, so to say, this is absolutely a charming tool. Very, very useful and does a very good job. I have been just tested it. I just tested it with some uh, scrap pieces and absolutely center holes and you can join easily your wood pieces. For pocket holes, obviously, ah, the heavy boy right here, I got this pocket hole jig. Nice clamp right here. It's very nice and heavy, very sturdy build, really strong build. Here you have a scale, so according to the thickness of the stock, you can set this thing on this scale. It moves up and down, okay, loosen these, move it, set it according to the width of your stock, and after that, clamp the stock 
make sure you put the stop block right for your drill okay and just drill the pocket holes so it was time to start assembly and it was also time for me very first time to play with dowels joinery and pocket hole joinery so I used my newly purchased jig which made it super simple to drill holes right in the center and I installed dowels and using the wood glue everything came along really good I simply love this tool it makes life very very easy for dowel joint raising as you can see I'm using Chinese pine wood and it was really very easy for me to join these uh, thicker wall pieces for my table using the dowels and that tool made life very easy now I'm using this uh, pocket hole jig which is kind of copy of a crag pocket hole jig but hey uh, this is really very well made and it made life very easy to make pocket holes now these Chinese fear wood panels were not straight and I had tough time straightening them out but finally I was able to put them all together and the pocket hole jig really did the job very well I had to borrow some of the clamps from one of my friends and you know pocket holes wood glue and clamps did the job to make them straight and very nice pieces for tabletop and bottom then I went ahead and you know did the early routing job so that uh, later I don't have to do it uh, as per my plan I thought I would do it later but I thought doing it earlier was a good idea you can also see I had wood putty job done on some of the pieces as well which I will do finally later too adding the router in the table was a very good idea and I did all the routing job real easily and went ahead with cleaning job as well after that then I thought it was a good idea to send the pieces earlier so I went with 80 grit and 240 grit paper sandpaper and sanded all the pieces earlier uh, I also used wood putty to cover some holes and you know imperfections in the wood and uh, later just sanded everything out and it actually gave me very nice and smooth surfaces now these Chinese fear wood panels are also very nice and straight now after all the wood glue clamping and pocket hole jobs and obviously kids came in for my help and they did a very very good job sending those small pieces for me using my 3d printed sanding blocks kids have lots of energy and they did a very good job you're doing a very good job actually see And feel by your finger if it's smooth or not. Huh? Feel by your finger if it is smooth or not. It should be very, very smooth. Okay? Finally, it was time to assemble our masterpiece. So, kids came to help me again. Without their help, I couldn't have done it. Honestly speaking, I love you, my little kiddos, my little angels. They helped me a lot with uh, checking everything according to the design, marking the places and I let them mark the holes for the candles where the holes for the candles will go in uh, basically I keep them with me also for assembly jobs because they learn a lot and I do want them to learn woodworking from early age I let them take out the drills and set up the drills for me and also I taught them which screws and how I'm doing all the joinery for this table assembly they watched me doing the work very curiously and obviously they are learning a lot sometimes I let them do some of the jobs as well uh, safe jobs like drilling holes teach them to do things and they actually learn very fast and very quick I use two of my uh, purchased uh, corner jigs uh, clamp jigs and they did a very good job for squaring everything up and I didn't have to worry about the squareness of the tables and those boxes that I'm assembling it's a kind of boxy table but I love the idea and it actually worked out really well now these parts were a little bit tricky to add the side ones were easier to use with the uh, corner jig clamps but the middle ones were not very easy to use with the corner clamps so I went ahead with longer clamps and uh, glue and drilling and uh, putting the screws in 
actually did the job for me and I'm very very happy that in fact it actually turned out very nice and squared piece uh, one of the most nice and squared piece that I have ever assembled and built Same went with the uh, bigger piece of uh, the coffee table. There was only one thicker wall, so it was really easy for me to use the corner clamps jig. And uh, I clamped and I put them together using glue and screws, which actually held very well. So this side was nice and square, and I was worried for the other side where there was no thick wall because I changed the design according to the workflow I always change the design as things keep coming into my mind so anyway the clamps screws wood glue did the job at this side I took my time I made sure everything was nice and everything was assembled right at this side now for the other side, I was thinking which way should I put these pieces, so I went ahead, gave myself some time to move them around and see which way they will look good. And finally I decided, you know, they look good while you put them straight as per my idea. So it was again an easy job, clamping them, wood glue and screws held them real nice and real tight and basically it also makes a very strong table this way having to have five pieces making a good design at left side and a thick pine wood wall at the right side my design is actually coming along very well now it's time for a wood body job <laughs> wood body wood body put body wood body wood body job and then tomorrow the top piece i will cut one piece down there according to measurement and this one will be done i plan to go with the you know magnet so i can remove top anytime and it will fit automatically itself with magnets yes there were a couple of mistakes uh, that left imperfections so I went ahead with my favorite wood putty job I used wood putty to cover all the imperfections I covered the holes I also covered the uh, countersink holes that I drilled on the front and also covered the uh, pocket holes that I have drilled uh, and I, I actually turned the wood pieces upside down so that the pocket holes will all stay inside the boxes and will not be visible. Alright, next steps are very simple. I just used one of these drills which was exactly the same size as my candles that I can find in the markets very easily. After drilling that, I used this bit to clear the hole in the middle. And now I have four holes to put or place my candles really nicely. Then I used my two drills and cut the uh, holes for storing or adding the candles. And after that use router and uh, Dremel to make the holes nice and smooth. After that it was the job of final sanding for which I used a foam based uh, very flexible sanding paper which was 240 grit and sanded the leftover surfaces modern yet simple from design to finish this is my new coffee table now obviously this is our most favorite job and kids they love doing this all together with me so we went ahead and we put a waterborne paint a water-based finish for uh, the wood and using our brushes we took our time we enjoyed this part we always do enjoy this part of woodworking and simply kids love it and they never want to miss this part we had a good chat we had good laughter while doing this we made sure we will not put paint on our clothes and uh, on our bodies in fact as per my plan this table will go from uh, remodeling for which I will later do uh, spray painting on this, make it white and black 
and also do some spray paint art on this big part. Stay tuned for that. So, <clears throat> this is the part that I said will have magnets because this can move around and it will become easily disorientated. So if we have magnets, it will just cut fit here. Now, you can always move it closer and make it a smaller in the size. Okay? And this is also a good design. Or you can move it as long as here or more, depending on what you want. And also, you can move this whole part here and use this part as a seat. Or as a drum. <laughs> Alright, so this was my design idea. And actually, I'm happy that it actually works very nice and looks very nice. And yes, we always have remotes which are here and there. That is why I created this, so that the remotes will be down here. Candles here, here we'll have books and stuff, and other stuff can be stored down there, right? Nice. Now, let me go grab my DIY polish machine from the uh, <laughs> drill machine, cordless drill, and polish the wax so that it will have some nice shiny stuff. And later we will spray paint it and do some spray paint art on it.